This video is a typical example of extreme cold stress I experienced on the farm, which prompted me to make this video. When cold conditions are extreme, the beds become stressed, and this affects their production and ability to withstand disease through immunosuppression, leading to reduction in egg production. At this stage, they possess symptoms that may be associated with several diseases, making it difficult for the farmer to carry out a proper diagnosis. In most cases, farmers conclude it's Newcastle disease. Watch till the end because I'm going to show you signs of cold stress and tips on how to handle cold stress in winter or cold or rainy season as it is being called. What's up my people? Welcome to Life of a Farmer Love. We will discuss farming in details. I remain your uncle is your cree of okay you can call me of orans thanks to all my old and new subscribers and if this is your first time of coming up my video you are welcome if you are yet to subscribe please kindly click the subscribe button and the bell icon to get regular updates whenever i upload a new video don't forget to like comment and share among friends to benefit without wasting your time let's dive into the main cocoa one of the primary causes of respiratory issues in chickens is exposure to cold stress. Because of discomfort in the internal body system, chickens under cold stress condition frequently demonstrate lower performance, especially in egg production. Certain issues that can complicate the effects of cold stress are internal parasites, improper diet, coccidiosis, diarrhea, and pasty droppings and respiratory issues. All these issues I have explained and I will drop the link to those videos in the description box. The first sign to watch out for is fluffed feathers. The first line of defense against cold in poultry beds are the feathers. Bears try to conserve their body temperature as soon as they sense drop in temperature. They do this by fluffing up their feathers. In this process, the air trapped in between the feathers then get warmed up by their body and act as an insulator. The second sign is perching. When your chicken perches longer than usual, this is a sign that the bed is dealing with minor cold stress. Your beds will spend more time perched in sunny areas or warm spots. By doing this, they are trying to use more energy at the same time staying warm. The position at which they perch also enables them to cover their legs and feet with their breast feathers to keep those um, appendages warm. Please, let me state it here that if the bed refuses to leave its perch position for feed, water or any other reason, it is indicator that something more serious is happening. Make sure to check it as it could mean an extreme stress or another disease. A third one is less activity. When bed are less active is another indicator. To maintain body temperature, poultry beds will be less likely to age on other activities. Instead, they will spend more time around their feeder. All these three signs I have listed are minor signs of cold stress in chickens. The life-threatening sign of heat stress are explained below. Please, before then, kindly subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the bell icon, like, comment, and share. Thanks. This video is a typical example of extreme cold stress I experienced on the farm which prompted me to make this video. The first sign of extreme cold stress is shivering. This is the inability of a bed to conserve enough energy or heat. The internal body temperature will start to decrease. This is what makes the bed to shiver. The muscles is meant to shiver and spend energy to generate heat. Please, on a very serious note, shivering is the first sign a farmer should watch out for among the beds as this is a sign of extreme cold stress. I have to bring this bed out and immediately it went to perch on the sun. Let me explain what is happening to this chicken. At this point now, this bed is trying to expend more energy by shivering. This bed now is using up reserve energy sources which are in the form of fat. Once the fat is used up, the bed starts drying off other more essential reserves and this is at the danger stage. A fifth sign of cold stress is lethargy and this often comes after shivering. At this point, the bed its only concern is to stay warm and generate heat. What happens here is that even when feed is placed in front of the bed, it will not move to it. Even when pegged, it will remain in its position. This then leads us to the sixth sign, which is staying off food and water. At a stage of lethargy, the bed can still eat and drink 
when feed and water are placed in its front. But in extreme cold stress, the bird will lose interest in feed and water. After all these signs and symptoms, I want you to know that minor cold stress can be easily managed by your bed. But you don't have to wait till it gets to extreme cold stress before doing the needful. I will list measures to follow, but please ensure to subscribe and turn on your bell icon for updates. Also like, comment and share. Thanks. The first step is to provide extra energy. This could be either through their feed or the environment with bulbs or lights. Secondly, once you notice it's shivering, provide a high energy feed and also free choice heat. Thirdly, provide clean and lukewarm water for birds to drink. The fourth one, because of cold weather, birds are more vulnerable to stress throughout the season. This reduces their immunity level, allowing disease-causing organisms which thrive this period to gain access into your beds. For this reason, proper vaccination and medication program should be followed. Also, ensure bath security are strictly adhered to. You can click the end screen showing right now to watch how to prevent disease and best bath security on poultry farm. You can also check the description box for link to other related videos on poultry farm. Please subscribe, turn on the bell icon so that you won't miss out on future uploads. Also like, comment and share among others to benefit. Thanks. See you in my next video. Peace out.